We made it a watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? <laughs> oh. I'm trying to see who it is. John Snow's right about Man's Raider. We're going to need all the weapons we can make. Don't forget the practice shots. Uh -huh. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I'm glad I caught you. I've missed you, Uncle. I never expected to see you here. Our business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of ironwood shields, to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Turned back countless threats. Please tell me there's a plan. But we can't let them get away with this. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. It was a secret he only wanted you to hear. He told you the North Grove must never be lost. Do you know something? I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. <laughs> he describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes, almost an obsession, a vital secret he protected at all costs. Do you think this citadel can help us save House Forrester? Lord Forrester certainly believed so. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself, somewhere north of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind. And strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. Uncle, that's desertion. The Night's Watch execute men who desert. I know. I wouldn't ask this of you if there was another way. Oh, boy. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal, but one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... I used to be frightened of where with trees. Well, before I was a man grown. I swear. I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. 
bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. A mammoth? <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. Hear the werewoods whisper. Look. There's a clasp. It must open. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key. To solving the map. A perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Doesn't look right. Maybe try another. Hello? Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. Hi. Wood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. That's gonna suck though, but I don't watch think he would, uh, he would just, you know, abandon the house. Let's go, got it! I don't know. They're probably like little, little shards or something. Wait, so... Hope to never lift like one of those weapon. again. Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall, it probably you'll break up into little icy bits. Be moving pretty fast. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So you were just talking about lumber all that time? It looked like it gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Mm. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say, 
what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. Sarah, you should be careful who you trust around here. Secrets can be dangerous in the wrong hands. That's true. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Sarah? Marjorie's so busy. I can't just wait for her to find a match for me. Please, just mm. don't tell Marjorie. All right, well, I guess for now. I'll just uh, keep my mouth shut. What are you doing here? Oh no, I shouldn't be here. <clears throat> but we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you alright? I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about Shh. They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. It's not safe for either of us. They don't have any proof he's dead, do they? They found blood on the garden stones by the fountain, but they can't know it's his. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. What if they find his knife? I threw it away, and there was blood on it. Oh, oh no. I should have you kept do it. not want to get caught looking for it. Just don't get in any more trouble, and I'll, I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Why are you helping me? What do you That's mean? A good question. I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other, or it's both our heads. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, if you really want to know... First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they sell Ooh, that sounds fancy and all that. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace, my lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace. 
and will spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. We only shed some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Well... <clears throat> Alright, Roderick. Roderick. Roderick! It's the White Hills. They're assembling in Roderick. the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the courtyard. He's not back from the wall yet. Then make sure Royland's there. of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> Who's behind this? Come out and face me! <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. I've had enough of this, Griff. What are you trying to prove here? I had to get your attention, didn't I? Always so busy beating your own chest, Roderick. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. 
I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I'll take care of my house. You take care of your men. And let us keep them apart. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little. Bastard. You can't just do whatever. We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're mad, Griff. This is my house, and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick, you can't let them do this. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now, eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. This isn't over. <laughs>